Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike. Um, so I'm, I'm making actually two videos today. Both of them for because of stupid people. Uh, the first one though is this one here. Actually he's not so stupid probably. He's actually, he's, he's been decent with me. He's one of my online followers on Twitter. And he catches my... Um, YouTube channel now and again and he sent me a PM uh, a, like a private tweet on Twitter uh, they, they have like the, on Twitter you can actually do like these little private tweets and, and he did that and he's he said uh, uh, he's, he's Arabic I'm not going to give his well his name is written like that so I have no idea exactly what his name is but oh well, I guess it's written like that the other way anyway he asked me he said why is it that you particularly, being a Navy guy, why is it that you like the Marines so much? Why is it that you 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 have such an affinity for the Marines? And my first response was like, Ugh. I, but then I stopped to think of the fact that he probably doesn't know. He probably doesn't realize, you know, kind of how things work. At least in 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 my little tiny, itty bitty little microcosmic world. And he may not understand the, the connection between things, and he may not actually even be American, so he might want to know, and maybe it wasn't such a stupid question, so I thought I would answer it. The reason why I feel such an affinity for the Marines, first off, I was stationed with them. I spent a good amount of my career with them. Any Navy ship I was ever on, the Schenectady, the, the, the Tarawa, the Juno, the Cayuga. They were transport ships. They were what you call gator freighters. They, they are specifically, these are Navy ships meant to transport Marines from place to place. Marines, their equipment, mic boats, tanks, Amtraks, the whole bit. You just load them onto this big, it's like a big garage door drops down and you just load them in and then you go. You know, that's what it is. And, of course, it transports thousands of troops at one time, each of these ships. The Tarawa also being a, a, a marine duty ship, meaning to say that it, it launches helicopters on and off, and it's a, it's a ship that can, can just do amazing things, these, these, these ships. They, they've got a lot of different um, uh, functions to them, the, the marine ships. Anyway, to get off that subject, any ship I'd ever been on was with the marines. I was stationed with them for the bulk of my military career, except for a tiny bit of time at Oakland Navy Hospital. Went around the world with these guys, and I learned something. Marines are loyal to the core. They are. I don't mean to the C-O-R-P-S. I mean to the C-O-R-E. They're loyal, they're loyal to the bone. If you make a Marine your friend, that Marine is your friend forever. I got two friends like that um, that I met in 1980, and we still are friends to this day. They were both Marines. And um, one of them retired as a Sergeant Major, and one got out as a Lance Corporal, but they're still terrific people, both of them. <clears throat> but I learned something. Um, when you're stationed with the Marines, when you have... Um, you, you're you're in there. You're part of them. You're you're out there doing your thing. You, you as a corpsman, you earn the title doc. They don't just call you that. You have to earn that title. And if you do, they're all about it, man. They're they're loyal as as far as they can go. And you're out there with them, and you're doing the things, and you get to know them, and and you get to realize that they aren't just mindless shooting machines. I mean, they're they're actually human beings who. Who have intelligence and education, and they have experiences, and they have their lives and their families and stuff. I mean, they're they're real people, and male and female. I have mentioned my friend on here before, political port. Uh, I th I think that she's gorgeous. She's an ex marine, or she's a she's a marine. You're never really an ex marine, and uh, just just an example of how very intelligent a marine can be. She's uh, she's very, very sharp. And there are a lot like that. But the reason that um, I, I felt such a affinity with them is because they, 
embraced me <laughs> in the way that in in the way that a lot of the navy people that I've been that I had been serving with did not the the marines um took me in and and just really I was one of them and and I was always considered one of them everything that they had to do I don't know that I necessarily had to do it but I wasn't going to let them think they could do something that I wouldn't so I did everything they did Repelling and the the water, what they call a water package, where you crawl through mud and water. It's cold outside, and you're, it's war games and bombs going off, and people are shooting blanks, and there's barbed wire, and it, it's just like boot camp. But they do this as a, as a training exercise. I was there when everybody went from the post Vietnam green camis to this new desert thing, and nobody knew why. I said, what the hell? Why is our why are our camis now brown? I don't understand. And in those days, it was just if, if you recall the, what the green Vietnam camis looked like, they were just these big splotchy black and green and kind of slightly gold colored and a little bit gray in it, just kind of blotched together. That was the that was the camis and. They all had exactly the same pattern on them. It's not like that they they changed patterns. It was all exactly the same. And then one day they came and they said, "You all have new camis," and they gave us these new camis for free. I mean, they, they weren't terribly expensive at any rate. But I mean, for a, a young even service person, it's it's a lot of money. Excuse me, I got a hair in my face here. It, it's a lot of money, even if it's 10, 20, 30 bucks. But they came to us and said, here, you, you each get, and I think they gave us three sets. And they're just like our green camis, but they were brown and had dark brown here and black here and a little gray splotch here and, 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 and a different color of brown over here. At that, and, and nobody knew why. Again, nobody could figure out what's going on. Why are they changing our uniform? What's the deal? So, but you know, being Marines, they just said, "Okay, let's go with it," and they they just went on. But when you're out in the field with these guys, they'll do anything for you because they know that you'll do anything for them. If you're a medic, if you're a corpsman, if if they think that you would go to any length to protect them, they'll do the same for you. And it's a very unique thing. I think that's that's something that that they 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 take into their heart, and they they really take you in as family. And that's one thing that really grabbed me about station, being stationed with the Marines. When I first got there, I hated it. I thought, man, I joined the Navy to be on ships and see the world and ports of call, road of Spain and and Mediterranean and and doing the West Pack and hitting Australia. I was all set to pull into Mumbai Harbor. And that wasn't happening. I was stationed with the Marines. I'm out in the field and the grunts and the mud and the gook and the, you know, the uh, all that. And, and I thought, what the hell am I doing here? But then I came to realize something really important. If I ever get in a fight, which fortunately I haven't, but if, but if I ever get in a fight, I want a Marine beside me. I'll tell you why. The Navy SEALs are highly elite, the best trained in the world, better than any, even the, even the Israeli Special Forces aren't as well trained as the Navy SEALs. SARC, which is these uh, Special Amphibious Reconnaissance Corps, and that goes with the Marines. The Marine Recon, they're Special Forces, but we'll, we'll, we'll lump them in just generally with Marines, okay? Um... But there's SWIC, which is the, the fast boats that come up and, and, you know, zip up a river and just destroy everything and create hell and leave in, in a few minutes' time. Those guys are all badass. They've got, the, they've got their high technology and their, their specialized weapons and, their, and they're, they're just, you know, get fired out of a submarine tube and, and go to the island and rescue all the hostages and blow up the island and bring all the hostages back to the submarines. You know the the Army Green Beret is the death from above. The the very well uh, earned, very deserved title of of Special Forces, death from above, special elite, whatever. They're again highly highly mechanized, highly technical. Have all the goodies, all the tools, all the technologies. The SEALs and the Green Berets and all of them. The Marines don't. The Marines 
are just mean. The Marines are just fucking mean. The Marines, they don't care. They'll reach down to the ground, they'll pick up a bottle cap and cut your eye out with it. They just don't care. And that is why I love Marines. There are no rules. If 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 you're going to be in a fight and, and, and you got a Marine beside you, or if you see Marines fighting other people, they don't care. They they will rip a tooth out of your face and then they'll they'll use it to cut your throat. I mean they're just like that. That's what Marines do. They're uncouth and they are barbaric and they are vicious and they're vindictive and they hold a grudge and they'll fight they'll you know, they'll take off your own shoes and beat you to death with it. I mean, they just don't care. And I love that about Marines. I respect somebody who's willing to just get in there and just do the smash mouth thing. You know, because away from all that, Marines live very, very real. They're not trying to put on a, a suit and, and, and put on some sort of air that if, if that isn't them, that it doesn't exist. You know, if a Marine has another type of job that he does if he's a garbage man if he is you know works in the sewer if he digs ditches whatever that's what he is he's not trying to tell you he's something else that's what a marine is i just i like the honesty of the marines i like their code they 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 ascribe to the naval services motto honor courage and commitment because they are a division of the Navy. The Marines is part of the Department of the Navy. But they're still even very, very separate from that. And they're just a very real group of people. And they're just, you know, if, if you, if you make, them, make friends with them, they're your friends for life. But if you make the enemies, you might as well just move to Venus. Because, man, if they cross your path, they will get you. They'll, 30 years from now, they'll get you. Okay, that's just what Marines are. But the question was, why do, I, why do I feel such affinity with them? And the reason is because they feel affinity with me. I have yet to meet a Marine in civilian life who doesn't pay me respect. I have had Air Force people come up to me and say, you were in the Navy, you served with the Marines? What, can't you make up your mind? To which I asked them, what service were you in? And they say, the Air Force. And I say, oh, well, yeah. Well, it's the Air Force, but technically it's still the military. I mean, that's just kind of how I feel. It's just somebody comes after me like that, man, I'm going to go right back at it. But I think it was kind of an important question that he asked me. I don't think he was trying to be a jerk about it. I think he really wanted to know. So so that's the that's the story. Whatever your name is, Mr. V on, on Twitter, um, who told me he does watch my channel here, the reason that I that I have such affinity for the Marines is because I just identify with them. We just, I, you know, we just always have clicked, and I think it's because they feel affinity for me. So there's your answer. Bye.